Well, Notts fans, the big day is very, very nearly here. The first away game you've been able to attend since way back in March 2020. Fingers crossed you were one of the lucky ones to be there at Barrow for that dramatic victory. And hopefully the lads can replicate a similar performance and result at the Hive. We headed down to training today to speak to Ian Birchall and Connor Rawlinson to suss out the mood in the camp. Ian, fresh off the training ground, some of the lads are still out there practising a few little bits and bobs ahead of yeah. uh, Barnet. Just how excited do you think the boys are for this? Yeah, really excited. I think obviously the the pre-season is quite a few weeks and play, you get to the end of it and you've played a lot of friendly games and the boys are just hungry for that competition. And I think the fact that all the other leagues started a couple of weeks ago and we've kind of watched with envy as all the fans are back and the, the matches have started, so we're really, really uh, excited for it. And you'll have that special moment in your Notts County career tomorrow. You'll walk out of that tunnel and you'll see over a thousand fans in an away end for the first time. Yeah, that's going to be good to see the away support. Uh, obviously, I've, I've experienced some of the fans in at Meadow Lane and that was great. And I, I know that we travel well. So looking forward to, to stepping out of Barnet and seeing some of our fans down there supporting us. Are we ready? Absolutely, yeah. I think it's been uh, I think it's been a good pre-season. I think we're in good shape. I think, uh, you know, results are a little bit indifferent and moments of performances have been indifferent, but that's quite normal in pre-season. Uh, but the, the most important thing is that we, we're physically ready and, and uh, ready to take on the challenge. We've been looking forward to this moment since obviously pre-season, you know, no one likes pre-season, we've got to get out of the way and get it done, but, you know, the lads are raring to go. The first game of the season is always very special, you know, it's a fresh start for everyone, everyone's on the same amount of points, which is zero. You know, hopes and dreams of obviously getting to, you know, where we want to be at the end of the season. So, you know, lads are excited and, and we're ready to go. We've seen you banging the heart of that three-man defence, Connell. You look right at home there, don't you? Are you, are you relishing that role this season? Yeah, I think it's obviously a bit more of a natural position for me to be a centre of a three. Um, the way the gaffer wants to play, you know, he plays very attacking play, you know, with the outside of the centre-backs getting involved, playing right back, you know, high up the pitch at times, you know. Uh, but it's something that I've got to develop in my game as well because there will be parts of the season where I'll have to fill in maybe at the right or, you know, other places across the back, back three. So, you know, I think it's only right to, to learn these positions and, and test yourself and, and get better. But like you say, a centre of a three for me is, is in my natural habitat there. You know, you, you're commanding the back line, you're talking, you, you're heading the balls and stuff like that. So for me, yeah, it's more natural position. But like I said, you know, you will have to play out of position sometimes and you've got to do that for the team. You appointed a new first team coach this week, Alex Clapham. He's had his sort of first set piece session out there. Obviously, we're not expecting miracles within the first few weeks, even months perhaps. But you know, how good is it to have him out there and, and helping you out on that front? It's good. No, I am expecting miracles directly. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's it's equally hard as we prepare. We talked about Barnet in the week, you know, when I did the press conference and said a lot of new players, new coach quite hard to read them from from the pre-season matches because you know there've been a lot of trialists playing and you're not quite sure what you're going to come up against and it's a bit the same as set pieces so we've really got to be uh, prepared to adapt and, and we're not 100% what we're going to come up against that's normal in the first game of the season but Alex has set down some kind of ground rules and uh, some principles and a few um, a few things that we think are going to be important from from that perspective and I think it's good just to give the boys that focus. I know it's the old cliche you can't get too high as a manager you can't get too low but mm -hmm. come on you must be excited for, for this first game of this full, yeah. first full season as a Knox head coach. Yeah I can't wait um, it's the, the like I say the pre-season's great from a coaching perspective because you'll be spend a lot of time on the pitch working with the players but still it's the competition and the games that everybody wants and especially now that the fans are back it makes such a difference I think everybody's just excited to get going. Expecting well over a thousand fans at the Hive tomorrow um, it's going to be a long awaited experience to run out on the away ground and see a packed out away end isn't it? Yeah like you say you know it's always good being at home with the fans but you know when you're away you, you, you desperately need them fans when you're away you know it's quiet the, the home fans you know, to, to give the lads that extra bit of motivation when you you know when you're playing away. So uh, I'm just really looking forward to it. We sampled it towards the back end of last season with fans back in and stuff. And you know, it's been said plenty of times. I know it's cliche, but you know, football isn't anything without fans. You know, it's you could just tell. You know, airs on the back of your neck, the Chesterfield game and stuff. So I'm just looking forward to getting back out in front of the fans and hopefully giving them, you know, deserved performances. What they you know what they what they want and what they want to see and good defensive performances, but also loads of goals.